good evening. I'm going to read the uh, proceedings on how we're going to follow the meeting today so everybody's on the same page before we get started. So good evening. This is the regularly scheduled November 9th meeting of the Geneva Planning and Zoning Commission. I am Scott Stocking, Chairman of the Commission. Tonight, for the benefit of those audience, I'm jo joined by Rebecca Hallman, Mike Slifka, Emma Mitskill, Mim Evans, Tim Moran, and John Mead, and you may have City Planner Matt Busing and Assistant Planner Jesse Muncy. Planning and Zoning Commission meetings air live on Geneva Broadcast Network, which can be viewed on Comcast Channel 10, AT&T Uverse Channel 99, and Metronet Channel 93, or the City's YouTube channel. This evening, the Commission will host a site plan review for Agenda Item 5A. As a friendly reminder, Agenda 5A does not require a public hearing. However, members of the public wishing to make comments or ask questions regarding this item may do so at the public comment portion of the meeting at Agenda Item 6. In order to help the quality of the meeting broadcast, I would remind all commissioners to mute themselves except when they are addressing the Commission. Commissioners are encouraged to state their name prior to speaking and prior to pri providing a roll call vote to better assist our record keepers, for ex example, stocking yay or nay. Okay, so that's what we're going to do this evening. Anna, please call the roll. Mead. Mead here. Evans. Evans here. Slifka. Slifka here. Holloman. Holloman here. Mattiskill. Mattiskill here. Moran. Moran here. Stocking. Stocking. Okay, next item is the approval of the agenda for this evening's meeting. Move to approve, Evans. Second, Slivka. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, next item is the approval of the minutes of our October 12, 2023 meeting. Any changes? Move to approve the minutes of the October 12, 2023 meeting. Slivka. Mandiskill, second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Very good. So I will move to the item on, only item we have on the agenda this evening, uh, 5A. It's a site plan review for Canada Dentistry. It's a request for a site plan approval for a 5,000 square foot single story commercial building. The applicant is JNK Enterprises, Inc. The location is pin 12-02-380-009. Do you have anything on the record? Nothing on the record. Okay. We'll hear from the applicant at this time. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen from Batir Architecture. I am the architectural project manager for this, uh, this project, and I helped Dr. Khanna prepare the site plan application for review. Um, it's a fairly straightforward project. We are requesting to put a single-story commercial building on a vacant lot in the 600 block of East State Street. Uh, it will have two businesses operating out of it, one being Dr. Khanna's personal dental practice, which is currently located on Hamilton Street in Geneva and has been for many, many years, probably decades. Um, they, the building was sized to maxim, the maximum building size was dictated by the number of parking spaces that we were able to fit on the lot, which is 20 spaces. And that, it's a single story. Uh, we designed the building to be in character with other buildings in that neighborhood. It's sort of residential in feel. It has, uh, it's a wood, it'll be a wood structure with fiber, cement, siding, horizontal, and a hip roof and brick and stone accents. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, any, any questions? John, you wanna start out? I have two, uh, mm -hmm. one for you and one for staff. Okay. Um, just, th this is just out of curiosity, of the 20 parking spaces, 17 of them ha are, uh, are using permeable brick pavers, three are not. Just curious why those three were not. Uh... Well, that was the civil engineer, he did, that was some, that was based on the stormwater okay. uh, needs so of the site. So for just calculating it out. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Sure. And, then, and then for staff, I noticed that spec in here were the 
acorn-shaped lighting for the, for the Geneva, and then when we did the Isaacs upholstery, we, were, we understood that those were no longer available, so I'm wondering if staff has worked to find a replacement or if we should or need to, if we approve this, stipulate that staff can have approval rights over any replacement lighting fixture should the acorn not be available. Yeah, so so with the Isaacs one, I think they were trying to find it and were unable to locate okay. a vendor. Um, I believe the kind of project has been able to locate a vendor. We were steered towards the ones that were used for the um, veterinary clinic, okay. which I believe is a little farther east. Yep, right. Mm -hmm. And I showed a picture of that to our lighting consultant, and he was able to find a fixture. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And I know our electric division has also found a vendor that we can okay. recommend to so, new so, applicants. So from this standpoint um, of tonight, non-issue. Correct. Okay. Yeah. That's very all good, I have. Sorry, I don't mean to keep looking over here and not over here. Oh, that's, that's, that's perfectly <laughs> all right. Anyone else? Anyone have any other comments? Questions? Yes, go ahead, Rebecca. Um, I'm not sure, actually, if you can answer this question. Um, is there any about the other tenant? Um, I was just wondering if there were any ideas, that, like if it was going to be a complimentary business or if there were plans at this point for any other, for what the other business would be? Well, it, a, a specific business hasn't been identified, but it will have to be a business use. So probably a professional service or an office of some kind because the site would not accommodate any more parking for something like retail or mercantile or restaurants or anything. Any other comments, questions? No? Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Ready for a motion? I didn't. Yeah, I, I mean, it's pretty forward. I, I didn't have any comments. So. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve. A site, uh, the site plan for a 5,000 square foot building located in the 600 block of East State Street, subject to the findings of fact contained in the staff report, including that final engineering shall be approved prior to building permit issuance by the city. Second. Moved and seconded. Anna, please call a roll. Mead. Mead, aye. Evans. Evans, aye. Slovka? Slovka, aye. Holloman? Holloman, aye. Mattiskill? Mattiskill, aye. Moran? Moran, aye. Stocking? Stocking, aye. All right. Very good. Matt? So the city council meeting will be November 20th. Um, if that doesn't work for you guys, just contact me and we can reschedule. Um, and I'll send you an update with kind of all that info for that. It'll be same time, same place. Um, and I'll send that over to you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, thank you, appreciate it. All right, item number six is public comment. So I don't know unless the two people present want to comment further on us. Okay, um, I guess we don't have anything on item number six. Other business, Matt, what else we got going on? Yeah, just so just a couple updates here for everyone. The, um, our last proposal was for the Quick Trip site. That was denied by council uh, last, or this week, actually. Um, oh, okay. So that. Yeah, so the, to have a gas station as a, or a special use was denied by them, yeah. Um, as well as the street configuration. Yeah, Record. everything, yeah. The whole proposal was denied. Um, the, we got a new application in this past week for uh, a lot further down uh, East State, kind of in between uh, Elm Road and Coutts, uh, on the south side of uh, 38 there. It's for a, uh, it's essentially a truck parking lot and maintenance facility. Um, so that one will be coming before the commission sometime in the future, which just be aware of that. On, on State Street, though? It'll be on, yeah, on East State, yeah. You know, Is that similar to what we approved further south off Kirk? Remember, there was going to be that truck yeah. maintenance? Right, right, right. Yeah. Hmm. Is Did that the same anything site? happening with that? I haven't seen anything go on there. Uh, I'm not, I don't it's, believe so. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a truck facility 
It was closer like a, to Kirk Road. Okay. It was like an old Kirk Road. Yeah. It, it, yeah. it wasn't it was right on Kirk. Okay. Yeah. This is. Yeah, I mean, this is a little further east than that. It sounds like a similar use. Yeah. Is it by the sign shop? It's. It's so it's the same. It's. A, the it'll incorporate shop. that lot as well. Yeah. So it'll be for annexation, um, rezoning, and then a preliminary PUD. For also, that. a couple. They're not lines. raising those buildings. They're just. No, they'll be okay. keeping those okay. those buildings. So yeah. it's a couple lots. Yeah. It's. It's the two. There's two buildings, existing buildings, and then there's a kind of a larger vacant lot okay. and that will be turned into a proposed to be that's a what they're parking. calling for yeah. hmm. um last item i just wanted to mention we don't have a second meeting in november and then the december meeting is uncertain as of right now okay. uh there may be uh one item that will come before us in december but to be determined so just keep okay. uh, keep a lookout for that and that is that's all i got can you Expound. I'm just curious what the discussion points were for Quick Trip. I mean, we were not unanimous, so, so I wonder, was the public there? Was there was there general? So from what uh, Director DeGroote informed me of, he was present at the meeting. He said there was not really any discussion um, from the council. It was just a, I believe it was an eight to two vote uh, to deny it. Wow. And that okay. was that was pretty much the update I got on it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Anything else going on? Any questions or in town and stuff? I mean, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't think of anything that had a question on what's going on in town right now, so. Oh, the, what's going on with the Verizon? Is that still going to happen? Uh, yeah, so Verizon, we, uh, staff sent out comments um, last week or two weeks ago, so they are reviewing our comments and then working on a resubmittal of okay. that proposal. Um, yeah, they still got the dead spot, so this they're, is, uh, they're yes, still searching for a spot. This is on Randall, uh, to the west of why, why Eagle Brook. They, why are they coming back for the same thing? They have identified a need there and but believe it's the best location. It sounds like the same thing we already said no to. It is. Twice. It's it's a slightly <laughs> slightly different tower configuration, but I, I, I mean, it's the, the same location. Fake tree versus a model hole. Yeah, so this one is... one of those fake trees in another community, and... Wow. I've never seen it. <laughs> this one is not a fake tree. Yeah, this one won't be a fake tree. Whoa, what is that? An area that had other pines, but it was so much bigger. So it brings more attention to it than it should. It just stuck out. Like if it was just a to power, you probably wouldn't even hardly recognize it. No, you might be like, what kind of tree is that? But after I, you know, the experience that we went through, I was like, oh my gosh. Thank goodness. We didn't. Okay. Okay. But yeah, but they will be resubmitting, and then staff will be working on, on that project as well. Okay. I don't want to do it again. All right. Very good. Nothing else? I think we're good. Move to adjourn. Record. Wow. Thank you, man. That's a record. That is a record. That is a record. <laughs>